go ahead and proceed. I don't know where Felicia is. Uh, Amanda, will you call the roll? Yes. Um, Patsy? Here. Doris? Here. Joette? Here. Gary? Here. And we have Felipe and June that are absent. We have a quorum? Yes, sir. All right, we'll call the uh, meeting order. And this is a uh, budget workshop. And uh, the Center of Possible Action to build tax cooperation is the budget. We have uh, a proposed budget that, uh, after talking to the city manager at length, it is that some of the things that we were going to pay for, the city was going to pay for. And that's the reason why the difference is in the, in the budget. So, but there is one thing I'll ask Amanda to kind of <clears throat> help us understand, and that is, if you notice the sales tax, we had 500,000, 450,000 rather, and the uh, city managers felt like maybe we could uh, Go six hundred thousand based on what the city has asked for, uh, estimated. So, Amanda, would you explain that to them a little bit? Uh, yes, sir. So, based on the sales tax that the city received for and uh, has received for this fiscal year, um, the city estimated the sales tax revenue for our next fiscal year. The city has estimated one point eight million dollars in sales tax revenue for the 2020-2021 fiscal year, and so um, 4B gets thir um, one third of that. And so we have project the city has projected that we are going to give 4B six hundred thousand dollars in sales tax revenue for the next fiscal year, and so that way they would be in line. Um, the city manager. Asked to change the 450,000 to the 600,000. That way, the city's budget and the 4B budget will match. Did everybody understand that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You okay with it? <laughs> Where'd we go? Are y'all okay with it? Yes. Yeah, it sounds like a done deal. Let's go on down to the next one. All right, uh, sports complex, well, that remains the same, 486,200. Advertisement, same. Administrative services. Now, I talked to him about this, and I told him I thought that was pretty extravagant. That's about a 400% increase in over what we paid. I... Uh, I found out that it, it, he said, in talking to him, 10% of Amanda's work has to do with 4B fund. Uh, I asked Amanda about how many hours she spends over the year, and she said about 215 hours. That may be right. Mm -hmm. And so I, I talked to uh, to Mr. Santee, our attorney, about that, and he just said, "Well, you have to do what you have to do, but that fifteen thousand dollar is one point five percent of the budget." And. Um, I have done some figuring here, and at 215 hours, uh, that comes to uh, at, at $50 an hour, that comes to $10,750. $10,000. And materials and supplies would be. Uh, 
one, two, five, oh. I'm going to suggest that we make that amount twelve thousand, which should be a thousand dollars a month. Right. And I right. also told the city manager, I asked him how much money how much of that money does Amanda get? Ten percent? And he said, Nope. So where's the money going to? <laughs> I do think that, that she ought to be um, get a little bit more than what she, she's spending ten percent of her time. So then she should be paid a little bit more. That's my feeling. All right, kick it around. See what y'all think. Well, where is that money being spent if it's not if, if it's, she's not going to get a good cut of it? What else does it go fund. to? General fund. It goes to the general fund. Sure things go into general fund, a lot of them. Sure. Is. So, Gary, what do you think? Well, I think twelve. Would I think twelve thousand? That's a thousand dollars a month. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, unless they can come up with a better justification, uh, you know, there's no sense us trying to get just get soaked just because he uh, wants to go ahead and stick that in a budget without uh, having the common decency to come and uh, explain it to us. Right. Well, and not to give Amanda any more. And Amanda should get some uh, get a raise. She does so much work for our, the 4B, and I, we can see that with all the paper, the typing, the stapling, the, you know, she does a lot of work. I think it should be 12. Well, I think what he's considering is that uh, the city is paying her and that, uh, if she's not doing city work, but she's doing work for an entity of the city, that that entity ought to pay, I believe, is the way he's thinking. And so the city should be reimbursed for her labors. I, I I like twelve thousand dollars. I think that's acceptable. Yeah, I think twelve would be nothing. We all three right say twelve. <laughs> that's what Larry came up. Everybody in agreement with that? Yes. Okay, we'll put twelve down there. Okay. <laughs> okay, court are right, going moving on down. A G B development thirty thousand, that's that's a given. Legal fees, that's a given. Park signage, that's a given. Benches, that's a given. Uh <laughs> Twenty-five thousand. Well, we'll talk about that ticket booth. Now, the city manager commented and said, "Maybe we ought to put that ticket booth off for a while." And uh, and I, I don't think we need to. I suggested that we could probably get a prefab building down there, cheaper than twenty-five thousand. Pretty nice. Did he offer a justification for put, delaying it? What did he have any justification for delay? I didn't catch it, Gary. Did, did he offer a justification for why we should delay that? 
know. Oh, in other words, he's wanting to delay the pick ticket. Yeah. I think we ought to go with the ticket booth. We could always, we could always sit out one. one. It was chairs. But I think, you know, I don't think that's good. Larry, what did you say? I say he, he said that we could always sit out there and it was a table with some chairs. And if it's raining or hailing, what would we do? Not have a game. Okay. <laughs> raining you would, but... Larry, I'm like you. We could get some kind of booth down there. Prefab. Well, we could get a, we could get a pretty nice... Uh, we could, somebody could design a, a ticket booth to put out there that would look pretty nice. It, it's already uh, been designed. We can go ahead and use what Hanson did. So we, we have, we've already got the plans. All we have to do is uh, fund it so it can get done. Well, we, we have to uh, uh, insulate it. We have to get the electricity to it. He said Hanson's already designed one. Yes, Hanson's already designed one. Yes. That was who was in charge for it that got fired. Why not? He worked at the sports complex and he drew all the plans. I don't know who was she. Wasn't that a woman? He spoke on it? That was Mary Kay. Put it in there $1,000 for a ticket booth. It'll have to come out of How much she said? Twenty five thousand. Yeah, okay. Maybe two. Are we leaving it like that? Are we leaving it like that? Yes. Okay, if you notice from your other budget the one that we worked on, there are a lot of things that are not on this one, the newer one. And he said that the city was going to pick up those items that are not listed on this new one. Okay? Where is the city getting all this money all of a sudden when they didn't have it for streets? I have no clue, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to you what I think in just a second. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, all that concrete work, he said he's got uh, that they're going to do some concrete work over there by the park, the, the complex. Some of it will be granted, but he got a real good price on concrete. That's a lot cheaper, a lot less than what originally. He also said he got the. Uh, uh, Checking out, I uh, was able to talk to this guy and to give him the same uh, cost on that walkway. So we're going to try to get all that at one time. Yeah. And the city would take care of it. And what about the resurfing out at the entrance? Well, they thought we, he thought we'd be willing to uh, put that off a while. When I went through there, it was the fish pond liner, the transformer pad upgrades, the sidewalk to the park to the complex, and then additional ball pin security fence, and then resurface in the front parking lot out there. Those are things that were all under $50,000 that I thought maybe that's what we were going to try to get done in October. Uh, September. I, I, I understand he's thinking about going ahead and do that now. That's it. Okay. Out, of, out of the city money. Okay. Don't, don't ask me how, why, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Yep. Well, just as long as we hadn't used any of our parks and Rick, our, our uh, 4B money for city money. <laughs> All right, the security fence, uh, sixty-five thousand, and I think that's because of the that that 
wrought iron fence is this big bit higher than the regular fence. Yeah, that's that fence he wanted, and it's twenty thousand dollars more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a little bit more. A little bit. Is that what uh so he can tell us whatever he wants and he's going to get it done? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Trash cans. The same. We cut that down to five thousand. We we all did to get some trash cans for five thousand dollars. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Art, art, art. Aren't we, he thinks we need to hold off on that till we get that other fence up. That, arc, that uh, wrought iron fence. Now, building C, that is the restroom facility. Oh, okay, okay. That was the question I had. That's the restroom facility. We, and uh, we can take care of that because that uh, all those other things that we were going to do, that city's going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, going back up to that uh, archway, we're going to put a zero there. No. Ten thousand. Archway. Yeah, archway. Yeah, okay. All right, 300000 for the building C. That's the uh, restaurant facility. And supplies, 3000 Your Utilities, 10000 And the Christmas party, 5000 And uh, 500, 500. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit about the grant fund. This fund is for businesses in Kennedy that have been hammered by the COVID-19. So I think we can do this uh, legally. I'm hoping Dan is... Dan, are you on the line? I don't guess he is. <laughs> what the city manager suggested to me in the meeting was that we allow $270,000 for 27 small businesses in Kennedy to $10,000 a pop. And I see that he listed here $176,000, which is $100,000 less than what he... Now. Okay. Now. So, uh... Did you say how? So, what he said, that 4B would be responsible for coming up with the guidelines for all the grant, the specs, uh, and 4B would select those people who they thought was most needy. If we go with $176,800, that's going to be about 17, maybe 18 grants of 10000 apiece. If we go 10000 apiece, if we go less than that, of course, there'll be more. And I think maybe it might depend on how many applications we have. Oh, it's don't worry. There's going to be plenty. But this is something that's happening all around Antonio. So kick it around and see what you think. We could go help anybody. We already have our own yeah. people. <laughs> did any of these small businesses in our count in Kennedy, did they get any of that stimulus or what was offered? Any of the business in Kennedy with the stimulus that was offered? I don't know. I don't know. 
Because if they got some of that, we don't want to do it more to them, do we? No, oh, well, I wouldn't think so. I mean, because you hear on the news uh, that the the smaller places didn't get the money, and then the larger places they did. You know, so what I'm trying is not us to have any problem with the small businesses. I know they need help, but I want us to be sure that they didn't get help that they didn't use wisely. <coughs> well, we can set that up in our criteria. Sorry, you can make sure. Okay. If, if, once, what if we agree to the if we agree to the money here? Uh, we'll have to sit down and and write up the uh, proposals. Yeah, or the applications, I should say, and then put the conditions on it that we want. That's correct. Because okay. you take hairdressers and people like that, they got to be hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to be. Even if they're still in business, they mm -hmm. they're way behind everything. A few thousand dollars out of our budget wouldn't hurt us. Still 10. Mm -hmm. Thomas J. Henry got $5 million, and he's a millionaire. Well, I know. Well, I didn't know him, but I mean, I've just been hearing it on TV where everybody was complaining from the smaller businesses. They didn't get the help that it was supposed to be, but the big businesses got, you know. So I, I, that's yep. the reason. And let's help those that really, really need it yeah. and be sure they didn't get money and wasted it. You know? Yeah, and and I would and, and if we do approve this, I'd like to kind of get it out as fast as possible before yeah. anybody else goes under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree. Well, we can't that. get it out. Over. We're gonna have to do have what? Date for October third. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Well, it'll take that long to get the guidelines. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anybody volunteer to make up the guidelines? Where, where did he come up with that particular number? Do you know? I have no clue. He, originally, he said 270. He'd like to see 270, but I see he cut it down to 170. Yeah. That number was just what whatever what was left in the budget after after all of the expenditures. Um, you had spoke about Mr. Keesling. That was the number that was left. So do you have a balanced budget? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if you notice that with the budget, the expenses is exactly what we're going to take in supposedly. Okay. All right, so, so we're not going to. How much are we going to carry anything I, over? And this. Uh, it, it's going to be a zero budget. So after all the expenses. There's a one seventy six eight hundred is left. Now the three thousand that you had left from cutting down the administrative services, you can add, if you like, you can add that to your grant fund and add three thousand more dollars. But that's totally up to you. Well, there's, 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 that is a necessity down there, and I don't know why. I, I mentioned it several times, and it always fell by the wayside. And that is. On those batting cages, you're going to have to have some padding. Yeah. On the batting cages. How much and is the, that? You what? How, how, how much, much would that be? Okay. Uh, I uh, mentioned this to Amanda a while ago, and I told her that I would get a price for them and to... Uh, and I'll have a high end price for that and a low end price. Uh, the high end price is 16200 The low end price is 13500 And that's based on size because those pads are $2.20 a foot, square foot. Well, that means 
means we take money out of the uh, out of the grant uh, to put it for uh, baseball. I didn't catch all that, Gary. I said that means that we would have to take money out of the grant budget to put it into baseball. You mean baseball? You mean anything? What? Mr. Kiesling got cut off, so he's no longer on the call, so he may come right back on. Maybe we should adjourn while he's gone. Well, <laughs> what, about <that? laughs> what about that 3000 since we said we're going to do the administrative? Well, uh, well, well you see, we would, we would have that 3000 but if his low, I forgot what his low price was, but that's way above, you know, the 3000 So we have to pull the money from somewhere. Yeah. Well, he's mentioned putting... Or she said something a while ago about putting three thousand to that grant fund. So I don't know. Right, but but, but he hasn't. But in our budget so far, we don't have anything for that uh, for what he's talking about. Right. So now we could maybe pull something from a few places. You know, or for that matter, we could go back and. You know, put oil and gas revenue up by a few thousand dollars, but uh, uh, um. <laughs> but anyway, we're uh, somewhere we gotta we gotta finagle around to see where the money's gonna come from, or we or we can run a deficit budget. I mean, we we've done that before. No, no. Yeah, you like run a deficit. You don't have to. Oh yeah. yeah. Because we well, got the money in the bank to cover it. Well, while ago he said to leave that ten thousand in for the archway, even though the okay. city manager said to let it hold. I mean, he said put didn't have to do that right away. So there's ten thousand. Yeah. But everybody still there? My phone went dead. Yeah. yeah, they wouldn't. They nobody nobody wanted to second my adjournment, so we're still here. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to decide where the money's going to come from, or if we're going to run a deficit budget, or what, uh, in order, you know, in order to, to balance this all out. So. Well, we're going to have to know that for baseball, if they're going to play baseball. Instead of running a deficit budget, Gary, what y'all can do is. Um, when last year, what y'all did is y'all uh, had revenue from y'all surplus fund come in, and y'all that's a suggestion that y'all can do that, take out that amount and and add it as revenue. Okay, if that's agreeable to everybody. But did we have a surplus? Last year, y'all 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 put it in the budget, but did y'all did not have to use it because y'all's revenues were. We're good with the, y'all had good oil revenues. Yeah. But how much was it, Amanda? Last, um, for this year that we're in, um, it looks like from the fund balance, y'all approved 625000 to come out of the surplus account. But, but we haven't taken any out. Okay. So why don't we just do it? Like, well, it's not. It's not a matter of we don't have the money. It's just how we're going to get it. Oh. Well, let's pursue what Amanda was talking about. We got to talk to Dan. Hello. I'm sorry. We yeah. can you. Okay, uh, I guess I guess what I'm asking is, are y'all going to go with that or go with that? And how much do you want to put in there for it? And we'll uh, we're going to have to have another uh, short meeting to we we'll have to have put this 
and uh, a pretty manner or have a hearing and all that? No, sir. So once y'all, once if y'all come up with the decision and y'all finalize the budget tonight, y'all can y'all can approve the budget tonight. Um, I had I was going to schedule a public hearing, but Mr. Lynn said that it, we did not need to have a public hearing, and he said it was because we didn't have any major projects on this budget. He said we only that you only require a budget hearing. I mean, a hearing for it if there are major projects on it. Yeah. Well, that, that building C is a pretty major project. I'm sorry? Building C is a pretty major project. Yes, I, I, mean, I, I he saw the budget I, and I, I asked him again on, on the day I posted the agenda and he said no, so. Okay. 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 We better get in trouble because we have to. Have right, do we want to add that those paddings to it? Well, those are less than fifty thousand, so I guess they aren't classified as uh, major projects. Yeah. Yeah. And the three hundred thousand dollars is uh, part of the budget, so. So the project that you know is is separately part of the budget. Mm -hmm. And the four hundred thousand is payment. And can't either. So what do we want to do? Put that three hundred in that other revenue? I don't know. Uh, is everybody still there? Well, yep. so. Oh, I guess so. Well, that have to be a separate budget item for those pads. Uh, well, yeah, I think they'd have to be, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, no place to put it. So, what do we have to do? Have another meeting? <laughs> Not if we can do it tonight. Uh. Okay, uh, we'll put a separate item budget of pads and we'll put down, uh, what, 16000 Yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, that's going to make it sad, uh, one million. One hundred and sixty-six thousand. Well, that'd be a deficit budget of a hundred uh, and six, uh, sixteen thousand dollars. Okay. 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 Sixteen thousand dollars. You want to, so Mr. Kiesling, you want to take out thirteen thousand dollars from the fund balance? Yes. Okay. Sixteen thousand. Sixteen. Yeah, but we have the so the, um I included the extra three th the three thousand in that. Okay, that'd be good. Okay. That'd be good. So will that go in under other revenue? Yes, um, where where there's other revenue, I marked it out and I put from fund balance. Okay, and it's gonna be how much? Thirteen thousand dollars. Thirteen thousand. The total revenues will be one million one hundred sixty-three thousand dollars, and then that'll be the same for the expenditures. Okay. Good. Total revenues will be what? One million one hundred one million one million one sixty-six one sixty-three. Yeah. And the balance. Okay, folks. Are you all okay with this? Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You okay with it? Yep. All right. Do I hear a motion that we accept the budget as presented? I'll make the motion we accept the budget as presented. I'll okay, second. second. Second I'll by who? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Any discussion? Sir. All the roll. Doris? Yes. Patsy? Yes. Yeah. I was thinking. Go ahead. Yes. Gary? Yes. Alan Beaver. All right, motion carried. We are here a motion we adjourn. I make a motion we adjourn. Can a second? Patsy seconds it. Patsy seconds it. And all the favor say aye. 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 You got it. Gone. Me. <laughs> Thank y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right.